so we're in Oslo for this one, about to attempt what is apparently the biggest pizza challenge in the whole of Norway. That's it. That's the intro. What is this? The scooter trend, man. <laughs> Sweeping Europe. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I think it's about 30 inches, this thing. 75 centimetres. It's about 30 inches. On the plus side, you get one hour to finish it. If you can, the meal's free. No t shirt, sadly. Hi. Hi. I'm here for the Hi. pizza challenge thingy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. How are you? Put it there. I'm good, thank you. All right, this is it. The 75 inch pizza challenge. I hope space is a Norwegian word for something and not just the Norwegian spelling of spicy. Hope it's not hot. Should we have a look at this guy's YouTube channel? Oh, nice B roll. I wonder if I can nick it. Maybe I can nick it. Maybe I'll steal it. <laughs> I'm joking. Not all English people have a habit of nicking stuff. 75 centimeters, right? It's about 30 inches. Has anyone ever finished it by themselves? No. No? No, I don't think so, Hosaru. Have anyone finished the pizza? No. No. No? No. <laughs> Better grab some water, because this one looks a bit crispy. Ooh. Yeah, what is heating? What, well, you have to drink Coke? Yeah, have Coke. <laughs> yes, you know? <laughs> Make some more space. I tell you what, I'll, I'll grab a Coke as well. Water's cheating, apparently, so <laughs> I'm going to get a Coke. Let's have a look at the menu here. The desserts on there. Fish and chips. That's unexpected. Ooh, it's coming. Hello. Hello. I better get started with this one pretty quickly because it looks like a really crispy pizza. Meaning that when it gets cold, it's gonna be really difficult to eat. <laughs> Man, you get yourself into some stuff, mate. It's Oslov's, right? Oslov's Pizza in Oslo. It's a pizza place and they do kebabs and fish and chips. Interesting. And this is the 75 centimeter pizza challenge, which I think is roughly, that's just under 30 inches, I think. Two meats on there, I've got pepperoni and beef. I also got some red onions, don't really know why. And nobody's done it yet. No. no. One hour. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I hope so, I hope I can do it. All right, three. Two, one. I should probably just tear it up. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be quicker, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't believe I had to get you to help me. That's really, that's embarrassing. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Listen. In my defence, it's easier to apply downward pressure from an elevated position. I'm sat down, right? It's harder to cut pizza from that angle. <laughs> Anyway, what's up with now? Welcome back to another episode, the third and final instalment from Norway. And I reckon I've saved the best till last, or at least the biggest till last. This is Oslov's 75 centimeter pizza challenge. Two meat toppings minimum, one hour, 800 Norwegian crowns if you don't finish. And so far, no victors. I'm not sure it's a great idea, but I'm gonna leave the crusts to the end. No messing, no messing. <laughs> I think the owner's just having a good old laugh at the way I'm eating his pizza there. Quite understandably, these slices are comically large. Dip? What kind of dip you have? Garlic. That would be perfect. <laughs> Thank you. The whole bottle? Probably a little early to resort to the dip, but we've got it if we need it. I got it. No cheating here. 
Ooh, that crunch. I told you this would get more difficult the longer it went on. I squeezed out some of that garlic sauce there, but I think to partake of it this early would be counterproductive. We might need to change up later. I need to give myself at least 10 minutes for the crust. At least 10. <sighs> I'm getting there. <laughs> This is fantastic. Tastes really good, yeah. <laughs> Wonder where it's going. <laughs> yeah, this fella's watching me like a hawk. I suppose it probably feels a bit like a live exhibition at one of those Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum thingies. It's always good to see an enthusiastic adjudicator, though. I'm starting to feel it in my jaw now. My jaw's getting tired. That's probably the piece that I cut, right? I think so. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's more a pizza ribbon than a pizza slice. Went down with some haste though, so maybe I was onto something. Doesn't look quite as impressive as a huge slice though, does it? Oh, look at all that crust, come on. <laughs> maybe I should have cut more like that. Nah, come off it mate, you'd have been there all day. Still might come to think of it. I really wish I hadn't left the crust. It would be going about 14 minutes. Something like that. Almost. That's going to be the hardest part. Yeah, it's always a bit of a trade-off when you leave the crust to the end. But you know what they say about old habits? <laughs> Some people might use a different word. Yeah, like, I don't know, pointless? Nah, come on, I'm only joking. This is elite level athleticism right here. I think if I recall, there's a, there's a bystander passing by outside. Yeah, there he is, doing a double take, triple take. I'm slowing down a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Yeah? Eating. Predictably, I'm scoffing. But yeah, thanks for watching, man. Yeah, enjoy. Wanna give me a hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. This is where the real work starts. Uh, yeah, the crusts. I wish someone had stopped doing this, but it just seems instinctive to me to leave the majority of the heavy duty chewing to the end. Uh, it was about 48 hours ago. Yeah, all I did yesterday was drink coffee and green tea. <sighs> you guys don't have milkshakes, do you? Yeah. No? Not yet, but you're going to be doing it soon. That doesn't help me. <laughs> do you have like a a cup or a glass or something, something I can pour the water into? Oh. oh, thank you very much. Am I allowed to get up and get a, yeah? Oh! oh. Yeah, you could say that again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, this is going to get disgusting. <laughs> but um, I need to dip some of the crust in the water. Oh. I let it cool for too long. Sorry, I wouldn't normally do this, but it's, it's pretty, pretty crispy. 
<sighs> Nearly 24 minutes. Oh, come on. Ooh, we're just shy of the halfway point. The funny thing is, the owner thinks the coke is going to make this harder. But if you're a long time viewer, you'll recognize this tactic. Huh? Give up? <laughs> Never! I need to let out a rambunctious burp, but um, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> oh. There it went. Come on! <laughs> that guy's like, what is this dude doing? <laughs> yeah, almost as if he's watching a grown man dip pizza crust into a glass of water. I should say, if you're a bit squeamish, this part might put you off. A necessary evil, I'm afraid, at this point, because these crusts are like shipping rope now. Luckily, we've got plenty of garlic mayo on hand to help them down. Only a couple of pieces left to go now. Come on, son! You can do it. I think you're going to have to order some more garlic sauce. Oh. I really hate dipping crust. It's despicable. Yeah, I mean, actually, that's why I wanted a milkshake. Although, I'm not sure that's any more acceptable. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. All right, this is Beer Meets Food, and that was Norway's biggest pizza challenge. <laughs> That's amazing. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Still, you, you haven't planned the question. Where did you put it all? It's in there somewhere. No, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually probably less cloudy than my water usually is. I just need to sit here for like five minutes, collect myself. That was rough. Oh man, that Ben and Jerry's. I could have dipped my pizza crust in one of those. We're standing here? Yeah, yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Group photograph. Group photo. Sorry that Probably smell. Not, I, it's the smell of the pizza, it's not my natural right, smell. I never smell that. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, Thanks yeah, folks. Yeah, Catch you next time, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, the pizza yeah. was delicious man. Yeah, Cheers, thank you. Oh, it's uphill now. Back to the car. It's a close one, but I think Norway might be my favourite of the European countries I've visited so far. I mean, they all make England look like a bit of a skip. So long Norway, it's been a laugh. Still got my winner's t-shirt from the ramen place there. By the way, this is like the jankiest print job I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel like you could peel that straight off. I'm not gonna though.